Delhi is facing a drug crisis. Only recently, a staggering 200 kgs of cocaine worth some 2,000 crore rupees, hidden in small packets of snacks, was found in the Ramesh Nagar area. This came just days after a seizure of 600 kgs of drugs in Mahipalpur. This was valued at 5,620 crore rupees. In 2023, the Delhi police, along with the Narcotics Control Bureau, seized over 5,300 kgs of narcotics, including heroin, opium, and large quantities of synthetic drugs, such as methamphetamines and ecstasy. These busts point to an alarming rise in both drug trafficking and consumption across the city. But why is this happening? Why is Delhi awash with drugs? News 9 Plus decodes. Let's begin with who is addicted to drugs. The demographics of drug use in New Delhi are shifting in both scale and scope. Traditionally, drug consumption was seen in isolated pockets, among street dwellers, daily wage workers, or the urban poor. But recent data from the National Drug Dependence Treatment Center indicates a broadening user base. A study conducted in 2023 found that nearly 1.3% of Delhi's population, approximately 200,000 individuals, regularly use illicit drugs. Among those aged 18 to 35, this number rises to 5%, with significant increases in drug use reported among women and middle-class professionals. Another troubling trend is the rise of synthetic drugs. While cannabis and heroin remain the most abused substances in the city, the availability of synthetic opioids like tramadol and mephedrone, or MD, has skyrocketed. Synthetic drugs, which are easier to transport and produce, now account for nearly 40% of the total drug seizures in the region. This rise in availability has also made drugs cheaper and more accessible, particularly among college students and young professionals. But where are these drugs coming from? Behind Delhi's drug menace are some incredibly well-organized drug cartels. Recent investigations by the NCB reveal that many of these cartels have deep-rooted connections with international narcotics syndicates. The drugs flowing into New Delhi often originate from Afghanistan's Golden Crescent, with heroin being smuggled into India through Pakistan and synthetic drugs entering via Southeast Asia. The cartels have adapted to evade detection using innovative smuggling techniques. Drugs are hidden in shipments of legal goods like spices, textiles or electronic equipment. High-profile raids have uncovered drugs smuggled in false bottom suitcases, food packages, and even personal care items. Digital platforms, encrypted messaging services, and the dark web are increasingly being used to coordinate deals and payments. Law enforcement, however, is ramping up its response. In 2023 alone, Delhi police registered some 1,600 cases under the Narcotics Drug and Psychotropic Substances Act with more than 2,000 individuals arrested. The NCB has also increased collaboration with international agencies like the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime to monitor and intercept drug shipments entering into the country. But is there something we're missing? Why is this happening? India, which was once primarily a transit point on international smuggling routes, is rapidly becoming a major consumer of narcotics. Rapid urbanization and rising incomes have led to increased demand for recreational drugs, particularly among the young and affluent. Simultaneously, mental health issues, stress, and a lack of awareness about the dangers of drug abuse have contributed to rising addiction rates. New Delhi reflects this broader regional trend. As India's drug market expands, drug cartels have found a lucrative and growing consumer base.